uh, for welcoming, uh, welcoming he, me here today. Uh, I'm really happy to be uh, in New Delhi. In fact, I'm, I'm back in New Delhi. I, I was here a few years ago living and working at the U.S. Embassy, and uh, it's not my first time at the Electronics Nikitan. So uh, thank you for hosting us. I appreciate it. I want to say thank you up front to the uh, Indian government uh, and uh, the ministry here, uh, our colleagues today, for hosting this event. Um, this is a big step, I think, in expanding our strategic uh, economic cooperation between the two countries. Um, we're here today to talk about semiconductors, of course, and, and, and it's been really important, I think, to point out that, you know, the, the significance of, of these chips, which really are the lifeblood of our modern world, it turns out that they're powering everything from the cars we drive to the medical devices that save lives. So we found out in fact, our dependence on this critical technology, um, the level of that dependence and how critical it is during the uh, pandemic when we saw some supply chain uh, disruptions that affected a lot of our industry. And we learned it during that time that in one part of the semiconductor supply chain, if there is a disruption, it can have an effect or ripple effect and uh, have an impact on the entire ecosystem. So we've also learned during this time and in the aftermath that if we work together, we can diversify and build resiliency across all aspects of our semiconductor supply chain, and then we can improve the economic security for all of us. So this is why I'm thrilled to be here today and have the opportunity to announce that the Department of State is partnering with the in, uh, Government of India to explore opportunities to grow and diversify this, the global semiconductor ecosystem. We'll do so under the International Technology Security and Innovation Fund, which we call ITSI. Um, as you mentioned, uh, President Biden signed the CHIPS Act in the United States just two years ago, and we established in parallel this ITSI fund to promote the development of a secure global uh, uh, semiconductor supply chain and telecommunications networks. In the initial phase, India will work with partners towards a comprehensive review of its existing semiconductor ecosystem, focusing on assembly, testing, and packaging, or what we call ATP. So this area is an essential part of the supply chain. And with international organizations and steered here by the industry, uh, by the uh, India Semiconductor Mission, this review will re uh, examine India's regulatory framework, its workforce, and infrastructure needs. The insights gained from this review will serve as the basis for potential future joint initiatives to strengthen and grow this critical sector. The United States and India are key partners in ensuring that the global semiconductor supply chain keeps pace with the global digital transformation currently underway. Our collaboration underscores the potential to expand India's semiconductor industry to the benefit of both nations and to much of the rest of the world. Our global partnership will extend beyond mere supply chain logistics. It's really about aligning technological ambitions with shared democratic values and ensuring that the benefits of the digital transformation are widely and equitably shared. So once again, I extend a uh, sincere thanks to all of you as our hosts, uh, and I appreciate the warm hospitality that, we, that you've given us, and I look forward to the commitment to international engagement.